I think we're onto something good with this one. This is a huge, huge waste rock pile in front of us. This probably runs up 300 feet or more. You can see my buddy starting up on the left there. Um, I know the scale is kind of hard to tell on the camera, but that easily runs up 300 feet. Now, I don't know what's up there yet, but if you're watching a video of this that I posted, that means we found something good up there. So, I'm going to have some suspense about what's up there, but you'll have the satisfaction of knowing there must be something good up there from posting the video. We are out in the middle of nowhere, and there's no sign of anybody having been up here, no trails or anything like that. And behind me is what makes that all worth it, because look at this. Look at this beautiful adit right here. This adit with an awesome echo. And hear that echo? It runs back as far as I can see. This is what I would describe as a lost mine because this is not on any maps at all. It's not on the MRDS, it's not on USGS, it's not on the Forest Service maps, it's not on the Topo maps. Uh, it's not on any of the maps or sources that I consult. Can't find anything out about this mine at all. Uh, it was a chance discovery. There's a bunch of cool stuff out here. I want to show you guys. Uh, let's look at this metal here this, at the uh, portal. I mean, it's just stuff all over the place. I want to get inside first though, because I'm super curious about what is underground. But I promise I'll show you some of the outside stuff too. But wow, lost mine of the Sierra right here. This is really amazing. All right, we just crossed through the water there, and this is even better than I expected. You can hear the echo better in here. See, it really opens up ahead. At my feet are some ties, as you can see. Still have the spikes on them. Right there. The one has the center. Oh yeah, and that, as you pointed out, that was one of the center. Very cool. But this is really, really wide and impressive. And those are large, like core sample large. Interesting. I cannot believe how wide this is. Especially for an older mine. This is obviously an older mine. This is absolutely gigantic. It's got some sulfides or iron staining right there. And the rest of this kind of looks like flowstone, huh? Like the mineralization. Looks a lot drier, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no water now, but it's yeah. got that look. Huh. That was only one of those large holes. Got a bunch of track ties here. And, okay, so main haulage at it. Keeps shooting ahead. Getting more colorful here. Looks like we have a four-way intersection because there's stuff. The vein right above us. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Right. There's, as he correctly identified, there's a vein right there. And these quartz, ooh, it gets fat, too. No surprise it ran off in each direction here, huh? So, we'll take a closer look at that, but there's... Stuff running off that way. I already showed you that one. And this goes off. This, these aren't just little rink -a dink crosscuts. So those go off as far as I can see. Well, I'll do the old right hand rule, I guess. That's a thick vein, man. Yeah. It could have been for ventilation or light or who knows what. No surprise they chased this. There must have been an outcropping of this on the surface back there that they saw and followed in. Man, that's impressive. It runs over here. Looks like they tossed some waste rock here. Flow coming from that. Do you have a little water? Oh, he's right. Yeah, there's water flowing from that direction too. That's quartz, actually. I don't even know if I would call that waste rock. Hmm. Some wood stuff. That actually looks. That might have been an old ladder right there. See the wrong looking things? 
And it looks like they took a bunch of samples out of this, doesn't it? Spot there, spot there, there. All through there. This is an impressive vein. And there's that other vein running through it. One piece of wood right there. This is all quartz through here. It's got a bunch of dust and such on the walls. Okay, that's the ends here. So I guess it didn't assay out too well. But it looks like they were taking samples. Man. That's all quartz right there. So, although it looks good from our perspective, it must not have assayed out well. That's good looking quartz though. Huh. All right, let's go check out that other drift. Okay, we just looked down that drift there, back in the main haulage out of here, which runs off that way still. We've got this other drift over here to check out. But I noticed this stuff here. That, okay, that's metal, that's drill steel right there. I don't know what that would have been used for. Looks like I got some old strap rail right there. Huh. All right. Let's see what awaits us down here. That looks like a tamping stick right there. Or a blasting. Is that wood or is that metal? No, it's metal. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It looks like a tamping stick though. Some of the mineralization back here. Oh, got more of those hooks in the wall or the rib of the edit and it looks like they stoked this out a little bit here this echo is insane I feel like I'm in a cathedral it keeps running that way a bunch of timbers tossed aside here there is absolutely no ground pole in here at all this is incredibly solid that's flowstone right there. And a huge bolt right there. And right there. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, there's absolutely no ground fall in here at all. And so the mine is still intact. And so you can see in an active mine, you'll see the water draining out the side. And even though this mine is so old, that it doesn't appear at any records. So we're talking like 150 years old or more because this is an old mining district. It still looks like, you know, they left a week or so ago because saw the water draining out as it should. Support timbers down there, remains of them. And of course, there's gotta be a little bit of ground fall here just to make me a liar, but my point remains, drift keeps going. There's obviously a stove here. It's over there. I'll get a different perspective on that in a second. But they ran this one up away, so that vein must have run up in one way. Buddy right there. You can see those pieces of wood jammed in the ribs. And that round fall there must have come off the top of that stoop. Another look up that stope. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any angles. Sometimes you shoot off to the left or the right, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I didn't miss anything back that way. But yeah, I did not. There's something hanging right there. Can't tell what that is. That's not rock, but I can't tell what it is. Huh. Anyway, so yeah, there's that section above us and now let's go check out where the rest of this goes continuing along a little bit muddy back here but not bad lots of those hooks 
and piece of the wood jammed in to the ribs. Look, it's going away. More mineralization. Very distinctive, obviously. Looks like some granite there, possibly below. Ooh, looks like another big chamber here. This is a great mine. Wow. This is huge. Man. That is insane. That's my buddy right there. It gives you a sense of how big this is. This is crazy. So, support timbers there. Actually, those look like ties that were pulled up. Either way, a bunch of wood right there. There is... I thought that might have been like a flooded winds or something at first, but I think it's just a low point. Those boards are sitting there and they're not, yeah, they're not moving. So I think that's just a low point. But to my left, it's definitely a high point. That stole right there. And this stope running all through here. Pretty wild mineralization in here. That right there is actually a big pillar because the drift keeps running that way. And then you see it opens up there and connects to the other side of the stope. Yeah, and there's some pretty impressive flowstone over our heads here too. Very, very cool. All right, well, I am quite curious what's up there, so let's go look. The support members here. You know, that must have pained them to leave that because that's a pillar of quartz right there. They must have thought that was very necessary to leave that good looking quartz. Looks like some stuff has come down here. See all this stoles and timbers here. A lot of busted up ports on the ground. Oh cool, got an ore chute right there. And drift keeps going. Another pillar here to my left. As you can see, the stoke carries on up that way. Make sure the help of the light. There's a stole there. And there's the other side of that pillar we saw on the way in. Still like quartz there. There must have been a huge band of quartz here. That pillar gives you an idea of what was here before. That's awesome. And then I can't see all the way up that. Hopefully we can get a better angle on that. But that looks like it runs up a ways. Man. A little bit of oh, a little shelf right there. We had candles and things like that set up there, given all this mine is. You see, there's more quartz here. So, yeah, this must have just been a huge ball of quartz they worked through. That ore chute is incredible. You're able to see the whole thing like that. Sorry, I didn't bring my really bright light. It gets better. It gets better. Look at this. Oh, man. Was, oh, wow. Wind and that's a skid going down. Oh man, what an awesome mine! For a random discovery, this is an incredible mine. So, there's looking up that section, I couldn't see the top of I still can't see the top of it. Looks like it runs off to the left a bit. It's a pile of rubber hose over here. Oh, cool. So, this stove stems over to there. You see the top part of the ore chute there. And of course it drops down here. It does jumble of wood. So obviously it looks like the top part of the ore chute failed. And dumped everything down. 
that's crazy. Look, you can see they had a skip. So there would have been a hoist up there. A pop. This must have been sort of, this is crazy. Okay. So you see there's an ore chute here. And it looks like these are the remains of an ore bin right here. And I would say that they were hauling skips out from down here. That's something back there. I wonder what was back there. I don't know what was there. It was to a wheel here. Huh. I don't see a lot of space there for a hoist. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What I was saying is that they must have hauled the ore out and dumped it in this bin here and then dumped it, into the, dumped it down the ore chute to an ore car where I'm standing now when they're ready. See what I'm saying? So I assume this, I mean, they want to use the ore chute for the stope above too, but from where I'm... Oh, there's still a rail there? There's still a rail here, one way there, piece of curved rail here, dumping. Wow. It does like there was a hoist over there, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good timbers, maybe bolts here and there. Pretty substantial timbers. I mean, I, I don't know why else they would have cleared out that big space right there. Unless there's a hoist there. This is a pretty serious winds, man. I can't tell how far we can see. I can see the edge yeah. over there. Black. How far did I get over where you are? Oh yeah, that doesn't you can't see down more than five feet or so for that water turns black. There's part of the uh, pump system right there. What do you see? It's just a sheet 90 degree height. Special oh yeah. Is there a flange or a part of a pump on the end of this plate? Over there, yeah. Huh. A lot of this rubber, older rubber hose. File. Oh yeah, it is a file. File and a bunch of nails. The round nails or yeah, cut? They're, yeah, they're wire nails, so. So, and then okay, a rubber hose. hose. A bunch of rubber hose all around. See how the flow stones accumulated on the side of that support? That's pretty wild. Yeah, hard as a rock. Okay, so there's that flowstone there, and my friend, Jake, has a glow stick. We are going to fire that up and see how far down the winds we can you see with that. Finish this up, I'm gonna tie this to a rock. Good call, the float. good call. Okay, he's gonna tie that to a rock, if you didn't hear that. I'm just geeking out on all the stuff that's here still. Looks like that might've been the handle for the the gate on the chute. Bits and pieces of rail around over here. That's a piece of rail right there. It looks like that was serving as a stop, perhaps. See how it curves like that? So I'm sure I was attached farther up and it would serve as a stop for the skip car. Pretty elaborate infrastructure here. Okay, cross it over. All right, gets a bit deep right there. It looks like I can cross over on the left. And it keeps running back, wow. There's some rocks stacked up there for some reason. Here's the other side of that wind. You can see the manway here dropping down into the black below. They had a pretty substantial head frame here. I mean, this is a, a large amount of infrastructure for them to put in. That must have been a pretty serious wind. Here's looking up. The rails are running up there, or the, uh, the skids right there. Run up there. And he's right, yeah, I don't see any place for a hoist up there, really. Huh. Look at that ore sheet over there. Man, another pillar right here, as you can see. And then that stope continues over to there and runs up there. Which reminds me, I wanted to see how far I could see up that one over there. I'll have to be out on the way out. 
Okay, I got the glow stick tied to the rock. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Oh, perfect. Returning it to its home. You can see it in the middle of the screen right there. Oh, nice. Yeah, hung up on the on the timber supports, I think. It's pretty far though. Oh, it goes deeper than that for sure. Alright, there's the winds right there. Got the swimming pool here. That's probably about six feet deep, I would guess. Crystal clear water as you can see. Couple slabs in it that came down from the stoke. Keeps running ahead there. There's a stole or support timber that came down. Looking up on the stoke. Looks like they didn't leave anything up on this one. So let's carry on. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Saw the quartz in the floor. That's a floor of quartz, you're That's right. That's why they dug it out. Look at all the edges. This was just, this was just a pit of quartz. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It keeps going that way. They must have just left this to show up the winds. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, there's an insane amount of quartz in here. All right, through that section. Opens up some more here. More of that mineralization. That's the kind of thing miners like to see. Because you got those sulfides blended out of all this quartz here. See all the shelves of all the hardware mm -hmm. popping up? Yeah. Some old railroad, that looks like a railroad to spike and some round nails, wire nails. There's some water seeping out right there, see that? Huh. All right. Got an old side of that huh. You are correct. There's an old one. Possibly an old dynamite box too. Yeah, definitely. Look at the grooves. Oh yeah. A little side drift running off here. Is that Go to the right. And man, this keeps going. This is huge and way bigger than I expected. Just make sure this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, yeah, it just runs there and stops. So, a little exploratory cross cut. More remains of a dynamite box. Just a drill steel right there. Still in place. Nice. I haven't seen that. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that actually. It's still right there on top of the wood. Yep, he's right. The wood's pretty rotted away, but those strap rails are indeed still in place. That's really, really cool. I am so impressed with this mine that no one knows about. Straps all through here. Yeah, so you're right, it is that thick, that whole hillside is covered with the old strapping. Yeah, when we were coming up, the uh, the wafer pile was covered in this stuff. Alright, 1933. Oh, nice, got a date. August 6, 1933, Frank Brunel's. Brunel's. there. Oh, there's more here too. I can't make this one out. This says 23 here. I've got a 1940 over here. I, this mine is much older than that. I don't know if these are guys just scoping it out or mine explorers or what, but this mine is definitely older than that. Could have been a second crew after the, uh, the old timers. I don't know, there's so much old stuff here. I just, I don't see it. I don't see anybody mining here in 1940. That's really cool. Normally the Sierra mines don't have because it's too wet. 33. All these guys are long gone now, I'm afraid. I'm gonna check on dog, I'll put you back in the hall. Okay. T 
1940 something. And it faces out right here. Really, really cool. Can't wait to see what else is in here. All right, coming out of this drift now, I'm back at the winds and the ore chute. And I said that I would look up that section of the stope that we haven't seen yet. And I don't know if it's coming across the camera, but it does stop there. So we've seen all there is to see of the stope, but what an impressive sight. This stope is massive, especially considering the era that we're working with. All right, we're back in the main haulage at it and just finished looking down that drift, which wildly exceeded expectations. Now we've got this bad boy to go check out. Punch it straight back for a way, as you can see. Interesting colored rock in here. Looks like flowstone and all kinds of host rock that I'm not sure what it is. That's kind of wild, that starburst right there. I wonder what created that effect. Huh. Yeah, they carved out some big pockets on the side. Big solid slab right there. How do you like that? That's pretty cool looking. I cannot believe how spacious this is. Okay easily have cars pass each other in this section. Keeps going. This is all granite. I actually don't see that too often in Lund. Which kind of surprises me for the area. Wow, this keeps going. This is huge. A little hole right there. It burned. Oh, it just look like acorns. That means the water must get high enough to leave those acorns there. That's three and a half feet off the ground. Huh. That looks like a single jacking drill bit right there. That's old. We were thinking that this is a very old mine. You are talking 1800s old because of that strap rail and other clues and that another more modern crew came in and worked it. That's really common. I don't know what that is. Is it rare uh, spikes? No, that's just spikes. Or just no. Anyway, another more modern crew came in, possibly as recently as the 20s. They must have trammed it up because there's no way miners in the 20s and 30s would have hiked it up what we did. We did see some evidence for a tram. Full cool mineralization here. That is so orange right there. That's crazy. This quartzy flowstone right there. Keeps running ahead. I can't believe it's mine. These cubby holes are wild. And that's full of acorns too, and that's five feet high. I cannot imagine it fills up the water that much. But who knows? You get some pretty intense winters here sometimes. Okay, another four-way junction. Keeps running ahead to the strap rail right there. Runs to the right. You see a bunch of metally bits there. That might face out right there. I can't tell if it faces out or bends. And then, huge, dopey looking chamber back there. Keeps running back away. So. Looks like a land, looks like rail coming out of that. Oh, there's a. Oh, you're right, yeah. I, I wonder if that was on the winds here. Man, I can't believe this mine. Well, let's do the uh, old right hand rule. Look at the slab here, getting ready to delaminate. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely some stopey action here. As you can see. I ran up here. This tiny little support timber. Or stole, I mean. That's probably more of an indicator than actually providing any support. 
Oh, it bends. That is not the end. It just bends. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that's quartz through there. <clears throat> Mine's awesome. This is, uh, this is rail, and of rail. Okay, so this this might be uh, oh, the dog fold is in. Um, that okay, this might be more modern workings in if that's proper rail. Yeah, you know, the strap rail might have been the older stuff. Oh yeah, I can see the. I was looking up. I'm ahead in the clouds. I missed that right there. We'll have to be careful with the dog. All right, so that's what we're gonna go with. These are the older, or these are the newer workings. Okay, those obviously are not miners. 1972. Huh. Early mine explorers. This could have been a miner, though. 33. That's the name in the other drift, the Frank. The Whipple 1972 is new, and that's just a piece of burnt wood. What is it with Frank and mine explorers? All my explorers seem to have the same names. This is all. This is just charred wood. Oh, okay. Oh wait. So the top. So that's the top is separate. That's okay. That guy said. I think he was thirty-three. Also with that same name. Yeah. The other drip. So that's a, that's probably a miner. That's a carbide lantern, and that's just just a piece of, piece wood. of wood. Okay. Huh. Right. See the uh, drill mark in the rock right there. That's kind of cool. And yeah, this is legit real, right here. This is cool. The hook right there. And that just keeps running ahead this way. All right, back to strap rail. Huh, it's kind of weird. Going that way, I've got a stope here that runs up to there. Huh. Did you see this color pattern? Starting with my bed. Oh no, I'm ahead up in the clouds again. Except and the wrong clouds. The interweaving flowstone with this iron or sulfide color. God, that's cool. It's all oozing out of that uh, drill hole there, huh? I'll flow stone that way and then on this iron this way. Yeah. That's, great. That's cool. Here. Oranges, yellows, reds, browns. <laughs> That's really cool looking. Now it's all piling down here. Yeah, now the, yeah, you can see the flow stone accumulating down there. Imagine coming back in 500 years, what that's going to look like. I guarantee this mine will be there in 500 years, as intact as this is. At least the underground part is. Okay, another big chamber here. Man. Be careful not to fall down the winds. Okay, we uh, stop there. Looks like there was something here. And we've got a big stoke chamber here. That, oh man. That runs way up there. How far do you think that is? 75 feet? Um, it looks like it goes around the side of it, too. Yeah, 70 feet. And it helps drive. Man. You can probably scramble this. Yeah. But that looks a little slippery going up through there. Yeah, it does. Here's looking up that stope. Um, you can see it stops right there, so we don't need to climb up there. I would have, I'd give it another shot because it does look doable, but it stops right there. I don't see a sign of quartz in here, do you? Uh, a little bit right there. Oh yeah, the vein right here. Oh, am I missing it? Yeah. Well, the vein, I think, was this empty pocket. Yeah, good point. Not right there, if I my beam. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, then, he's right. Actually, I think that's close down up there. I can't really tell the difference between quartz and close down this distance of the light. There's not a lot of quartz in here, let's say. Yeah. So it looks like they cleaned it out. And this whole rock, Oh. Like quartz or? It's all surface. Below. Okay. Yeah, so maybe just this vein heading up. And huh. And some bit of pocket over here. The tamping stick right here. 
See that, you guys? Just packing the dynamite in. Which looks like they did a fair amount of here, all those holes. So this one, you get some heat ray, it looks like it's in the blast. You can see how the star burst out. Yeah. Crack the rock. Ah, for sure, yeah. Okay. That's the power of explosives, kids. That was a little piece of quartz right there. Yeah, some quartz. They did a good job cleaning the quartz out of here, though. Must have been pretty rich. It's a good view here. That yeah, stole up there. Stole. What's that? Is that like a piece of metal on that stole? Yeah, I was looking at that. I'm not sure what that is. Can't tell from you. Yeah, a guard for uh, lowering, dragging, you know, raising and lowering a bucket or something. Possibly, yeah. All right, I'm gonna head out and continue down the main at it. I'm heading out to the main haulage at it and saw this Myers graffiti here that I missed because I was facing the wrong way on the way in. And that's carbide. I had to look at it and make sure it wasn't modern, but that is old carbide. And you can tell from how weathered it is, it's been there a while. Step back a bit, get a better view of it. Pretty cool. We just checked out that drift, and I know I said I would go down I main haulage at it, but my buddy's checking it out now, and it looks like it keeps going a long way, so I think I'm gonna check out this drift off the left here first, because it looks like it might not go too far back. And there's a look back at the portal. So we've come in a way, but not, you know, miles and miles, which you would think we would have for how much stuff's in this mine, but not yet. So, still had track back here as you can see. This looks like another winds indeed. Wow, it is a smaller one. See the rail right there dropping down in the water. So, God knows how far. Oh, your light helps. How far does that main attic go? Uh, if it goes another 100, less than 100 feet. Oh, okay. Some daubing and uh, glass sheet. I'll check it out all the same. You can sort, with your light in there, I can sort of see, see that wood over there on the left. You can sort of see some infrastructure in there. It's pretty substantial, it's really wide. Yeah, it's really wide. It's kind of odd how wide it is. Huh. I'll let you cut it out with another uh, all right. light. It, Looks like there's a fault up there. See how the sharp side of that right there? I don't know if there's any uh, drops. Dogs gotta worry about I'll keep it with me until we clear uh, Okay. Clear any calls. Sounds good. There's a huge pillar in front of me here. And the stope runs up out of sight there. Definitely a fault line. See how flat and smooth that is? It must have been just a big layer of quartz uh, pressed up against that. And this continues overhead. Back that way. Get a review of that in a sec. That's where we came in. And then you can see it's just a bunch of rock piled up in the corner there. Really curious about this one. So I don't see any room for a hoist or anything, which means I wonder if they just hold this up by hand. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to see how deep it is. I can sort of faintly see stuff down there. And then it looks, you can, I don't know if you can see even coming across on the camera, but I can see the rail plunging see down. This angle pretty good. Can you? Yeah, I'll I don't have a string on this one, so I'm just going to throw it in. I don't know if it'll float or sink. Okay, second glow stick in the water, and it floats, unfortunately. Well. Alright, I'll swim in and get it. <laughs> I'm so curious. I can just faintly see stuff down there, which is really intriguing. You see, you can see it from this side? Be better if I through over there, get my light on the rail. Yeah, I, I can see it, the rail plunges down into something deeper there, but it looks fairly shallow on either side. Gotta come back with the scuba gear, I guess. I would actually consider it, given how clear this water is, and how solid this mine is, I would actually uh, do that. Drone would be nice. Yeah, one of those uh, underwater drones. Some timber supports here. The drift continues there. 
Oh yeah, so I was gonna look back. Okay, so that stop stops are there. It looks like there's a quartz vein there. And there's quartz just overhead. I can see. Big, oh wow, this vein is carrying on through here. The contact zone's impressive. See where it's squeezed in there? So yeah, fault on the right. That's what that sharp, flat angle is. And uh, the quartz just squeezed up in between countless ages ago. Big boards back here. Big, big boards. I don't see any immediate dangers for the dog. Uh, looks like that might be the end up there of this drift. Another stoke chamber here runs up there as a big pillar of quartz. There's rocks stacked on it. Yeah, the rocks stacked on it right there. And actually more, another rock pile right there. If you guys can see like cameras, a rock pile there. And stole there, it extends up. But I'm glad those pillars there because that's showing you what was here. You know, everything around that used to look like that and they cleaned it out, but they had to leave the pillar. That's so cool. And then, yeah, really obvious fault here on the right. Support timbers have fallen down. Completely rotted. Yeah, those are definitely stoles rather than track ties. Uh, oh, keeps going. There's a bunch of, I don't know if there's other winds up there or something. You might want to. That's another wind. Wow. That is another wind. Man. That is crazy. I don't know, it's a lot more substantial. Yeah, it looks like a big one. Check that out in a second. Um, another slab of quartz right there. Uh, I guess that's not a pillar, just a big slab of quartz. And that runs way up there. There's a stool right there. And that runs probably 100 feet or more up there. It's getting near the edge of what my light can illuminate. Looking back here, there's a stool that filled right there. There's a bunch of stacked rock. Look how much stacked rock is up there. Wow. Look what, that's weird. What was that was all about? Looks like there's a little bit of a shelf right there. Yeah. I wonder why they stacked all that rock there. Some dangers. No, it's just a, like kind of like gobbing, but yeah. you know, get out of the way or what? Huh? It's still dropped. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> really see the angle on that fault line on the left there. Okay. So yeah, we uh, have another wins here, guys. Uh, I gotta be careful with this one. Oh, wow. Man, look at the infrastructure on that. That's wild. That center pool. Yeah, look at that. That's strange. That's crystal clear. Yeah, it's, that's really strange. The water's clear here on the right. It's deeper than it looks right in front of me. Um, clear there, and then it's got that funk in the water there. And that one looks clear over there, too. They must have had the, like you said, they must have had the hoist over there because there's no space for it behind me. Looking up, there's some pretty yeah, solid rail. Up there. Oh, really? I'm terrible, in a bad angle. But there is that, you have these huge, these brackets here. It's all rotted away, but yeah. It looks like there might have been something here. Yeah, I don't know why I see it have that big space right there. Yeah, and these big ones. I gotta stand where you are, look up that space. There are those rails leading up out of the winds. The area up there, there's another rock pile there stacked up and a piece of rail extending up yeah I keep, i'm trying to figure out what's up there i see some bits of metal i don't see a hoist but yeah he, there definitely could have been a hoist up there uh, it looks like they might have made a platform of some sort there the stoke keeps running up there i don't see any way up there though definitely some yeah, they had something up there, that's for sure. Is that your light shining through? Yeah. Okay. No, I think if there was a uh, hoist, it was here. Is there? there. Okay. There's, there's, there's a bunch of lumber up here, but the angle, unless they're really ingenious, the angle's really steep. Okay. 
there's more pile of rock here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that probably settles that then. There's a look at the infrastructure again. It's down there. God, that's huge, huge and deep. All right, let's uh, get over there. This obviously all came down that stoop above. Huh. We have some bones here. That's pretty deep inside here for the bones. Curious. I love the other side of that winds. This is a really beefy one. We've got the big pipes. Yeah, that must go down a long, long way. I'd love to know what's down there. I mean, if these stopes are any indication, they've got anything like that underground. That's impressive. Okay, that was a. Uh, I thought that was just a slab, of course, but that's another pillar right there, because. That's the other stope we're looking up. Right there. So I guess that was a pillar. And of course that's the way we came in. And that's where we're going. That's the winds we were just checking out. And this pillar of quartz here. And that's the area I was looking up to. I thought that maybe they had a hoist up there, but yeah, I agree with my friend. Um, the angle's way too steep, I believe, for anything substantial to have been up there. It looks like they had some kind of platform up there, probably to work these stopes. Uh, they're still right there. You can see they ran way up there at a pretty steep, uh, pretty steep angle. The vein obviously ran at a steep angle through here. This goes way up there. Another pillar right there. See stuff on the other side of it. Up there, keeps running, and this is a pillar right here in front of me. And a lot of materials come down from above. I was just standing over there to look up that stope, and it continued on the drift. It's kind of hard to walk back here. There's a lot of stuff that's come down, and uh, well, it's hard to walk on. There is a massive pillar above me here. That's a good 20 feet across, and the stope extends up beyond it. Up, uh, show you the light up there. Up there, as you can see, there's a stope extending up that way. I had to turn on both lights to uh, give you a better view of that because that goes way up there. So we've got this big pillar here, and again, we've got more of that rock that's piled up there and stacked. That's stacked intentionally right there. That's not. Stuff that's caved. Uh, you can see the board sit on top of it right there. Really, I, I can't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Uh, where they've got a bunch of rocks stacked up inside stopes like that. That is unusual, to be sure. Really cool. Uh, drift keeps running ahead that way. Got some mineralization here. And that's all quartz right there running up. So. No surprise that they chase that. Keep going through here. Hard to walk on. I just came from that pile there and we have faced out. As you can see, there are the remains of an ore chute here. Very faint remains of an ore chute. That's definitely seen better days. There's a single jacking drill bit right there. Obviously an old one. And you may be curious what this ore chute was tied into. Perfectly fair question. It ties into this really large stope here. I'm using both lights to try and illuminate that. It's around about 3,000 combined lumens. And it's not doing a great job. That's a really large stope, you guys. Uh, it probably runs 200 feet back, and I don't even know if I can see the top. That's looking up towards the top of the stove. Uh, I think that's the top, but 
I don't even know because it goes a long way. Absolutely massive, massive stoop. Really incredible. I'm actually taking a ton of gold out of this mine. Really rich, promising mine for the looks of it. All right, there's that side drift we just checked out. I can see the wind's right there. That's the one we flew with the, through the blue uh, light stick into. As you recall, we already went down this way, which means we just have the main haulers out it in front of us. You can see, got some strap rail here in front of us, leading off in the distance. There's a blast sheet here from the looks of it. Oh, well, maybe not. They might have had a turntable on top of this. I'm saying that based on the, the rail right there. Normally you see blast sheets toward the end. Um, they lay them down and all the muck and such from the blast would dump down them and be easier to scoop it up and also not damage the rail. Some good flowstone right there. And down there. Oh, we got some gobbing. I always think gobbing is kind of cool. Rock wall underground. Just look at the track here. More gobbing on the right. Oh, lots of gobbing back here, actually. See all that gobbing. Four timbers. Flowstone. Maybe some cool features back here in a few hundred years. Huge piece of wood right there. And I think we faced out. Yep. That is a face with pool water down there. What an amazing mine. Wow. This was a chance discovery. And again, it's not on any maps. Didn't know this was here. This was just pretty much following a hunch up the mountain. I mean, this, man. This is probably the best chance discovery I've ever made. I mean, we've had some cool chance discoveries, but this is a really, really incredible mine. Really hard to find. Really out in the middle of nowhere. This is a lost mine. I'm so glad we found it. Back out of the mine, and as promised, I want to show you some of the stuff on the surface here. Um, something that I didn't comment on before, but is really apparent, is that there is bear shit absolutely everywhere around here. I mean, it's absolutely covering the ground. So they must be coming down to have a drink here. Uh, I can see a trail run up there. A bunch of bear tracks there, so. Yeah, I mean, look. Okay, here's a better view. Look at that. Is all bear shit right there. All of it. So, this is a very popular spot for bears. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to show you some stuff here. There are bits of metal all over the place. As you can see, and now most of them just don't have any contact at all. So, for example, I don't know what that is. It could be anything. I don't have any context. Over here, look at the size of that bear shit right there. That is huge. Oh, perfectly cubed too. Huh. Um, got the strap rail right here. Some older, there's an old shovel right there. We were thinking that as I said underground, there are two separate generations of work done here. Some old, old, old timers with the um, single jacking drill bits and such. And then it seems like a new crew came in and made the haulage out of it wider, widened it up, and brought up some newer equipment. And so, based on the stuff over here, we kind of had the impression that the old timers had their stuff thrown out here. In other words, when the new crew came in, took all the stuff that the old timers had left behind here and kind of jumbled it here and then a lot of it went down the waste rock pile there. We saw a ton of really old uh, metal equipment and such on the way up. 
So that's kind of the theory we're going with now. A lot of other stuff. Running yeah. back, running back this way. What's that? Riveted equipment. Riveted equipment. Yes. Thank you for the. Yeah, riveted air pipe, riveted blower, old, old stuff. So we think the old timers had their stuff tossed down the hill. There's stuff around off here. The size of these trees on top of the waste rock pile. You get an idea of how old this is. These are mature trees. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff over here. And there's also something down there. I don't know if you can see that flat area down there, but the flat area down there. So, we'll uh, give you a quick tour here and then head down below. That's a knife. Old pocket knife? No, like a utensil, eating utensil knife. Huh. Hey, yeah, you're right. Well, I guess that means they spent some time up here. Yeah, utensils are not often found. There's probably a ton of stuff underneath all the leaves. So that portal is right there. I was just showing you the stuff over there. And you can see that they created a landing here that runs off this way. Is that pipe right there? That's probably uh, 12 inches across right there. Anyway, landing here. It runs over this way. A bunch of metal stacked up here. And you can see where the compressor was down there. Let's check that out. We've got the oh, world's biggest, well not world's biggest, but biggest bolt we've ever seen out exploring. That is an absolutely incredible, insane bolt. It's got a, I'm gonna guess, 25 to 30 pounds, probably closer to 30. What the hell could they have used that for? This must have been part of a foundation for some piece of equipment, I'm guessing. Man, that is insane. So, wow. That's substantial. Yeah, there's a little, there's a platform here as you can see, they made out of rock. Shelf here. Yeah, shelf, shelf here. here. I'm shelf standing on a shelf. That looks like it might have been a pathway or road down. Yeah, there's a whole series, a whole tier, or multiple tiers of rocks leading down to some stuff I see down there. Impressive. Is that board right in there? It's still lumber here. Yeah, that's a lumber, piece this of lumber. This did burn. Huh. So, I'm sure there was a lot more that didn't survive. For sure, yeah. Inevitably, there must have been a forest fire through here. At some point, yeah. As old as this site is. More bits of metal here. And then, man, still a fair amount of equipment here, huh? Yeah, I don't know what this is. It broke. Alright, those of you at home, what's this? No information on it. Huh. I don't know, man. You got me with this one, right? Not light. Yeah, that's definitely the compressor uh, stand, huh? Or foundation for the compressor. All kinds of stuff over here. I don't know what a bunch of this stuff does. Part of a drill here. Oh wow! And I don't know if this is an impeller or something. Air or water pump or water maybe. That drill is really cool. Uh, Ingersoll. Oh, new Ingersoll. Doesn't say Ingersoll on Rand. Just says Ingersoll. Is there anything on the other side? There's a serial number on top. A set screw there. Oh, cool. It's got dates and stuff on it. Ingersoll Drill Company patents. September 22nd, 1988, or 1888, 1885, 1885. Yeah, see, July 16th, 1889, 1894. And it says New York something. Sergeant New York. That's really amazing. More, uh, I'm not going to touch it because it's pretty frail, but more of the rubber hose, the reinforced rubber hose. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right. That is old, old hose. Oh, this piece of a drill is crazy. You I mean, that's so rare to see even pieces of a drill. Wow. Some 
more stuff over here. Don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like there's something else mounted over here. Huh. There's a, this is all concrete foundation right here. And it looks like a trail actually starts around this way a bit. Is that a trail you're on? Yeah. Uh, huh. Kind of peters out, but there's a, a rock platform right there. Get a closer look. So that trail runs up from down there. There's a rock platform here. As you can see. And we pretty much cliff out right here. What's interesting is that there is a bolt coming out right there. Hopefully you can see it. And I spotted another bolt right up there. And the only time I've seen bolts in the rock like that are when there was a tramway. And there's a large open space down there, which you probably can't see through the brush. There's a large open space. And given that there are no trails or anything leading up here, I'm pretty convinced that they had a tram system set up here and this is the trail would lead up to the tram where I'm standing right now and they had uh, you know, a tram system set up through here which that's the only thing that makes sense given how steep this uh, is up here because it's pretty much it's like this a good part of the way up these, uh, these cliffs I was shooting up there before it's kind of hard to tell but there's uh that landing and everything up there before I was shooting on. I made a terrible rookie mistake and seemed to have forgotten extra batteries and my battery died up there, so we're on the phone. And down at that lower area, I was pointing out, and it looks like there may have been something right here. Uh, my buddy Jake went up and checked it out and said it looks like something ran under there, but it's all caved down. Uh, this may have been a stove right here, a wood stove. But at this point, it's so deteriorated that we're not sure. But there's a possibility that's what that was. This landing here comes over here. And ends here. But you can see, it's got this rock, well, maybe you can't see. It's got this rock wall here. They're supporting it. And that area, oh wow, look at that rock wall there. Remember I was speculating about the, uh, the tramway up above? That looks like a perfect platform for it right there. I did not see that from above. I'm, I'm really convinced now that's what that was. So, big platform right there, the bolts up above. And I would have run down this big ravine right here. I was just shooting from over there and I had to come over and check out this platform. Um, I felt we're missing my duties if I didn't do that. Really beefy platform here and the rocks have caved a bit but obviously this ran over and connected to where I was shooting before. So this really makes sense as a tram. There's this uh, retaining wall running up to a level spot up there where I go check out. And then, a bunch of food cans. Tons of food trash. Huh. And also, uh, a road or trail continues this way as well. We'll go check out. But first, we'll go check this out. Just climbed up this trail here. And look, there may have been a residence here. Looks like that may be the front of a stove. And there's food trash all over the place here. And a fair amount of dirt to come down. It looks like this could have uh, run back more. Room for a miner's cabin. All the cans are the same time period. Okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else it could be other than a residence. Maybe somebody keep an eye on the tram. Look at that platform's down there. So that platform I was checking out is around the bend there. And I've been following this trail here. 
which somebody put a lot of work into. That's a serious rock wall here to uh, set this up. And it keeps going this way. See more of the rock wall here. It keeps going this way. At least to that bend up there. So let's go see what's there. The mine is over that way and follow the trail over here. And there's a whole series of terraces here. There. Here, I'm right here. Uh, up there. And up there. I think this is where the miners lived in the first batch because there's crockery and glassware and all kinds of household stuff all over the place. I was just standing back there. And as I was telling my buddy, you can see all these uh, pottery fragments and dish fragments and such right here on the ground. And probably the stove right here. And a melted glass. Green Some glass. melted glass. Green. Stove. And then glass too. there's another one up there. And the trail we came in on is right there. So the miners working here would have had a hell of a view. Those rock platforms and such we were checking out or over that way uh, got sidetracked. But now I am back at that main landing we were starting to check out. Uh, that's that possible caved attic right there, and then the attic we went in is up there. Anyway, I just want to show off some of the stuff here. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't have enough context, but I'm sure some of the audience does. It's a huge manzanita right there. That's my stuff there. Not somebody else's. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure what it was. It looks like it was intended for pulling or as an anchor or something, but you can see it's growing right into the tree right there. So that's pretty cool looking. There is a shaft right there. I'll show you in a second. You can see how things just dropped down the mountain here. Yeah, it's very steep if that's not coming across on the camera. Pieces of metal all over the place. There is a stamp shoe right there for a stamp mill. So obviously they had a mill here. Looks like that might be part of it. Right there. All kinds of pipes and such here. And you pointed out how they connected the pipes here. So that was really interesting. They would hook them around and essentially pull them together. Pull tension with a screw. Yeah. And I just noticed that I believe these, correct me if I'm wrong, are components to the uh, the mounted drills. If you look at oh the yeah, you're right. The feet, it's got, it's, uh, it's got tread on the feet here and there, and that one's pretty worn. Oh, I recognize it up here because this is where the uh, yeah, you stick it to the ground, you yeah. screw it tight to the ceiling, you mount your drill to it, and you uh, so that's exactly what that is. I just assumed those were pipes, but yeah, that's exactly what that is. Get a shot of the, uh, the tread over here. Oh, God, that one is compared to this one. Oh man, yeah, those got some use. Wow, yeah, these, these are pipes over here, more pipes over here. There's another landing down there. Looks like part of a stamp mill down there too. More bits of pipe there. Uh, I don't know what this was. Another stamp shoe right there. Definitely a stamp mill here. And oh, there's an old handsaw right there. Handle's gone, of course, but definitely an old hand saw. That's really cool. That other attic is just right up there. Put this in some context for you. Nice rock retaining wall right there. Got a lot of good stuff here. We're not used to seeing this much stuff at mines, man. Nope. That tells us, or I should tell you as a viewer, how remote this is. Go look down the shaft real quickly. 
Yeah, they definitely missed the strap dryer. Yeah, for the accessible mines, this stuff got hauled away. It's part of the war effort to make bombs and bullets and such. Here's the shaft. You see, it actually goes directly under these other retaining walls. I'm looking down the shaft. Get my light up for you here. There's looking down the shaft, and it looks plugged actually. I can see some support timbers down there. Uh, so it looks like it dropped down farther at one time, but it seems full, plugged full of dirt and debris now, which, given how steep this hillside is, I'm not surprised. Huh. See what I mean? So much stuff would have gone tumbling down there over the years. Well, it's a hell of a mine, man. Definitely the best uh, chance discovery we've ever had, for sure.